Hello everybody, I'm trying this new thing called, um, recording, uploading to YouTube. Now, uh, welcome to my vlogs. For real guys, this is a stream roleplay. I'm gonna be trying my hardest to be roleplaying in this, and if I screw up, let me know. Okay? Oh my god, we just found this GMC inside the road. It's not a for sale sign on it, but it looks like it's for sale. I'm gonna go ask the owner. Let's go see if they want they want to sell the. But. Yes, they want to sell it, and also, um, very, very, very cheap. So apparently, this is um little old lady lives here. Her, this is her husband's truck and she just wanted to get rid of it she can't drive and uh let me tell you I got a good deal eight hundred dollars I know she literally just wanted to get rid of it eight hundred dollars that's it oh. I'm on the millennial farmer map by the way she gave me the keys I'm gonna Oh my god. I have to rev it up to start it. Uh, for real, I'm not revving it, but. Ha 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 ha! She pretty. It's an older version. I think it's the older Denali. Flatbed for like bales and stuff. Oh, this will work perfectly. Not gonna get rid of my other Denali over there. She said I could take it down to the dealership and back. I'm just moved to this area. I'm actually moved all the way here from New York. And this is Minnesota. So, uh,. I'm new to the area, and I literally just drove here all day today, but I love this truck. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be my little workhorse truck. I'm going to go tell her we're buying it. Okay. So, um, we own the truck. I told her I'd bring her to cash in the morning. <laughs> ah, dang train. <laughs> but I love my other GMC. I just bought a purchase to farm and I haven't looked at it yet. But, um, I'm gonna guess it's a really nice farm. So I'm going to go to the dealership in the morning when they open and you can get a trailer to bring the other truck home. My wife, she doesn't want to be at the show and screen, but she's in the truck riding with me. She came from New York with me. I'm going to pass slow pokes. And, uh, yeah, it was a long ride. We sold her car and drove all the way to New York. From New York to Minnesota. We thought if we're buying a farm, uh, it's better to take my Denali. It's a 2018 GMC Denali. I like it already. So, I, uh, I will definitely see you. I'll see you guys when we get there. Pulling into my farmyard. I will show you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to go show you the farmyard. Take a nice walk. I love my silo facility. That's the main reason I bought this farm. Just the silos. Who left the shed? Oh, my God. The old owner left the shed open. He was here last night. Uh, yesterday, I think it was last night. Last night, 
She said, oh, they didn't say it came with a Thunder Creek equipment field trailer. Ah, I thought I was going to have to buy all the equipment. But see, we have a little shed here. Probably park my trucks and stuff in this little, my pickup trucks. Um, a few light switches. He said that this circuit's broken. That's the only thing he said's broken. But, I'm probably just gonna, like in this chat, I, there's no reason to run both these, so waste my electric. But this is a nice, cold machinery shed. That in here, he didn't say it came with a pickup truck either. Uh, nice of him. But yeah, this is the main huge shops, I would call it. Um, I saw in the picture, I was, I've actually been here before. This is going to be my editing office and, you know, stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah. Must, I've been playing some farm simulator. I snuck out here last night before I could fall asleep. I couldn't fall asleep. Turn the light on. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Now, this is very nice. Oh, that opens. Oh, this is my storage room. Where I keep all my John Deere computer modules and stuff. Storage. Come on. Wow, these stairs are narrow. Can be a fit through them. Nice little apartment if we have any family stay over. It's a good place for them to stay. You see, and. Yeah, maybe when I get kicked out of the house, I come down here. Not a bad place. Hmm. And that door just goes out, too. As you can see. Whoa! Ow. Oh. Oh, dear God. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, I'm trading this in. Yeah. I'm probably going to get a better trailer. Okay, the wife dropped me off. Woo. I gotta rev this thing up. Whoa. Put a camera outside. GMC Sierra. Yeah, I'm gonna be trading in that Ford that came to the farm. It was, uh, Apparently, I tried to shift it and tried to. It won't go over five miles per hour. Transmission went is out. That's probably why he left it. So, I think my plan is I'm gonna take this as the normal driver. And if I see another good truck, I'll snag it. I'm coming down to the dealership just to see what they're doing down here. Oh, my baby. Oh, they just pulled this out for me. Let me tell you what. I splurged. I think I might buy it. Told them to pull it out for me. Oh, it's even got an Android radio put in it. Put a compression tester on it. That doesn't sound good. It's all healthy. It's actually been. It's actually the next day, and, and um, 
Yeah, we bought it. I have Sirius XM radio and stuff. They added in that aftermarket radio. Now I just have to go seal the deal. My wife is going to kill me. Also, I had them change the wheels for me because I didn't want the wheels to take off that ugly front bull bar. <laughs> but I wanted a third, a little runaround truck. I have the two old trucks. They didn't cost me barely anything. Oh, this is a good showroom. Hello, you there? Hmm. Okay, so. Oh, <laughs> I just bought something. I bought three things today so far, so I'm getting a little crazy. I don't know why they pull them out in the here, but they have them in the store twice. Storage place out back. Let's try to get this backed up. The pins in. Okay. We should be good to go. I just... Why did I do that? Pull the pins out. Er, hold out. My wife does not like me right now. Come on. She just screamed at me on the phone for buying a truck and a goose. I did need the gooseneck for the farm, but the truck, to be honest, I didn't really need. I already had this and the other GMC. It's just something I wanted. I really wanted it. Put the pin in. Good. Okay, so we're going to load the f Ford up. I hope this doesn't, uh, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. Hope this doesn't seem weird, uh, uh, Chevy pulling a Ford. Didn't get on trailers, actually, right? Keep it going, keep it going. My wife's actually in the front room, pouting on me. You guys, you guys obviously don't know, but my wife does not drive. She actually had a foot injury years ago, and she's not legally allowed to drive now. So, we are talking about getting her car and trying to get her license back, but she's not comfortable with that. So, yeah. Uh, we're riding back. She does not like her face to be shown, so I'm not going to show her. Ooh, putting the GMC to work. Let's get to the farm. Whoa, I think I almost tipped that gooseneck. Oh, this thing's a workhorse. Is that some storms behind us? Maybe I'm just seeing things. Can this thing do it? I don't know. Let's see if it can do it. Now, if you like my purchase on the Ford and the Gooseneck trailer and this in this episode, then let me know. Um, 90 more purchases to be coming. And this, probably even this episode. Don't worry, everyone. It was not as bad as it looks. Now, the the Chevy's completely unharmed. The trailer's completely unharmed. I'm worried about the Ford. Oh, it took out the diff. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh, the Ford's not good. Yeah. Careful. Careful.
careful, careful. That differential's already destroyed. Oh, it's dragging it. Careful. Go very, very, very slow. Oh, it's completely stuck on. Ah, oh, oh, my brand new truck. Oh, 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 oh the humanity. I oh, dropped it. I'm gonna pull this to right here. The Ford start. Starters. I didn't even think it hit anything in the motor. Dead. Let's get to Denali. The Sierra, I meant. Whatever. Uh, the other one's next to the trailer, and I'm probably going to use it more, so I'm not take it off. <laughs> oh, Chevy pulling the forward. That's classical. Patch chain. Okay, it's pulling. Pull it right in there. Okay, we got it pulled. Let me get the Denali out of here. Try to see what went wrong. I will let you guys go know in a minute. The pretty extensive list. Front and rear differential. Rear leaf spring. One of them broke. Yeah, not very good. Um, drive shaft. It put a crack in the transmission. And... It... I don't know why it's not starting. That... A month now since I last recorded. I just kind of hung out. I was actually working to try to earn a little extra money to pay off this Ford stuff. I've been working not farm. Um, but okay. So the the Chevy's out here, obviously. And Chevy's over here, warming up. Um, so it's yeah, it's been a month. I've been working a lot, but the reason why the GM okay, so um, finally, yeah, the GMC. Denali, Sierra, whatever, has been painted grayish black. They've had that for last month. And the Ford, remember the incident we had with the trailer? They redid the new transmission oil pan. Front rear diff, they fixed that spring. They redid this front bumper. I put I had him put a nice front bumper on. I really wanted it. Um, I don't think they did anything else, but yeah, they might. They added mud flaps. That's what they did. But it cost me a few, uh, eight grand, I think it was. So yeah, but sounds like this. And also, the reason it wouldn't start was a bad fuel pump. Uh, not fuel pump. But three of the injectors were bad. 
So there's get there's getting no diesel in the engine. So we're gonna bring this back home in the back of the Chevy. Don't wanna go through that again. We're gonna hope that the same thing doesn't happen again. going on we have a worker named John that I hired behind us and um he's driving the Denali as you can see and I'm driving the Ford pulling the Chevy it's opposite this time so the Ford's all fixed as you can see and it's doing a good job Corner slow. How's the Denali doing? <sighs> Beautiful. It's awesome. Beautiful. Now I spent eight grand on this truck, and I tried to find another one of these. It probably would have been cheaper. So that's more than I spent on this truck. I spent, I think, five thousand on this truck, and I spent eight grand. So I'm into this truck. Thirteen thousand dollars. Yowsers. But I, my daily driver is following us. My Denali. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So, um. Yeah, I don't know what to say. But, um. Come on, Denali. Can you keep up? Huh? Can you keep up? Can you keep up, buddy? Well, all this is done, finally. Now we just gotta get the farm done. Come on, buddy. Now my audio and my game's actually not working, so I can't hear a thing. Turn that off. Get out. Come on. Took John out of the truck. I'm gonna go park the GMC at the house. Now it's repainted and home. Back it into the driveway. Drama full episodes. So get that folded down, guys. I'm an old heavy stroker. Rev out. So I really like the Fords, so I might try that. Park this in the let that rev itself out. Take this, turn it on. Actually, for some weird reason, the county road, they call it, until the bins, for some freaking weird reason. I don't understand that. Okay, so got that parked. One full driveway. Just my trucks.
we probably won't drive the other GMC much because it's just an old beater tower truck. But the new one, I'm gonna drive a lot. Okay, we got the gooseneck dropped off back there. As you can see. Um. So we'll go park this. Probably be my second daily driver. That's a pretty good driveway. I have to grow it. I'm sure there's going to be more vehicles in it later. Knowing me. Anyways. Don't forget to leave a like on my vlog. Subscribe. Comment. I'll reply to all of your comments when I get. Next time. Peace.